In this video, I'm going to show you how to lather a traditional shaving soap in a way that gives you a super creamy hydrated lather. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your OCDB and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And as mentioned before, today we're going to show you how to create a super well hydrated, creamy, traditional shaving lather. But before we get into that, I must remind you that this video is sponsored in part by our good friends at Leaf and I'll pop up the Leaf and the twig right there. If you would like to get 5% off your order at twig or leave, I should say, uh, use discount code IMCDB right there. All right, let's get into it. So today what we're gonna do is show you how I bowl lather and how I come to have a really nice, super creamy lather that has a nice sheen on it. Cause I post pictures of this and people ask me all the time. And so what I'm gonna do today is show you the entire process, soup to nuts, as they say, and I'm going to use Shannon's Orange Ginger Twist, which I love. I just wanted to lather it because I wanted to smell the soap. And Shannon's lathers particularly well. So I will move the camera down to the sink and we'll show you how we do it from start to finish. And uh, it should be easy and I hope you can achieve the same results. Stay tuned. And all right, we are down at the sink and we'll show you what we're gonna be using again today. We're gonna be using Shannon's Orange Ginger Twist which you know I love, and we're using, I don't know if you can see that on the spoon, it's about a half teaspoon is what I scooped out of soap, and I have it pressed into the Captain's Choice bowl, which you see right here. I do spread it out just a little bit, but not too tight in the grooves. I like it mostly in the center. As you can see right there, the brush is going to be the PAA uh, amber aerolite and I have already wet it and I have uh, shaken out the water so it's pretty much damp and so this step is optional but oftentimes what I like to do is run a little bit of warm water just a little bit we'll get it warm you can have it hot if you want it's really up to you uh, at some point this will get hot <laughs> all right and just put a little bit of warm just a little see not too much and I like to slosh that around now some people like to leave it set for a good while. You can, if you please, it's no problem, but I'm gonna get right into lathering. I'm just using a little bit of warm water to wet the soap. Don't go too much at first. And then what we'll start to do is just gently swirl. And I know this camera's gonna be trying to focus and it's gonna be kinda of weird, but that's okay. We'll persevere. And what I always like to do is swirl until it gets somewhat pasty. See how it's kind of pasty? I'm gonna set the brush aside there. And then what I do is I'm using my mister here and I will link that below if you're interested. Apply some water. No big deal. Just applying water. Nothing special there at all. No special elixir. And I like to go side to side and then I'll swirl. So for me, when I'm going side to side, that generally is what builds more volume. So I'll splay just slightly and go a little bit side to side and then I'll smooth it out with some swirls. And I'll go in one direction like this and one direction like that. And keep in mind, I'm slowing this down for the benefit of a video. Generally for me to make a lather, I take between two to four minutes usually is what I spent. But for this, I'm slowing down. So you see where we are now, we're gonna add some water couple of squirts there. I know Shannon's can handle it and you we will develop a sheen as a result of the water over time. It's just a process that you continually repeat. You do some circles both ways and then lightly, I'm not mashing down the brush like that. Lightly splay a little bit of side by side or side to side I should say. And as you can see there, we'll, we're beginning to build some volume. And I know the camera tries to focus on different parts that are not all that great, but add more water and we'll splay a little bit here. So now we're beginning to build a little bit of volume. Now it's playing, again, don't bottom out the brush. That's not good for the brush and you don't need to do it. Just lightly splay, build a little volume and then smooth it out and distribute that water in your mix. Here we go, sorry for bumping the camera there. These shots are hard to come by because <laughs> I have the camera rigged on a tripod at a really weird angle. 
So I don't do this a ton, but I've done several. I'm asked a lot, how do you get your lathers the way you get them with all that sheen? And, and this is how. You gradually add water. Without water, no sheen. And the soap surely isn't going to lather itself. You are in control of your mix. How much water you add, up to you. If you want it more hydrated, add more water. If you don't, don't. If you want it pasty, that's okay. You can roll with it that way. Make the type of lather that you enjoy. It is not essential to have a glistening sheen on your lather, but it's fun, you know, and it looks good. And that does indicate that you're getting good hydration. Man, this smells great. As you can see, see how that sheen is there? We're beginning to build volume with sheen. And again, I've slowed this process down dramatically for the benefit of the video. I don't spend 10 minutes creating the lather every day. I'm doing this for you all because I've been asked so many times, how do you do it? I do it the way you do it and I don't get the same result. You're seeing it right here. See that? See the sheen on that? There's no trickery here. We're just slowly working water into our soap and smoothing it out. And we're not splaying too much. Splaying adds air to the process. And so I don't do that a lot unless I'm trying to build more volume. And we'll do that now. Let's, let's play a little bit and build some volume. And now I'm going to add, I'm going to be adding more air to my mix. And as you can see, there's more volume there. But look at the sheen on that lather. That's what you're after. But again, not essential. Don't worry about it. If you're getting great results with your lather and it doesn't have a super sheen on it, don't worry about it. You're doing okay. You're doing fine. But if you want to get it to this level, just slowly add water and continue with your process. And look at that. Look at that creamy goodness right there. You know I'm going to put this on the face here in a minute. We're going to put the camera back up where it's supposed to be because this is Shannon's Orange Ginger Twist and I love it. Couldn't have been happier with this purchase. I'm so glad the Razor Company and Shannon's teamed up on this one. Fantastic. Let's add more water. Shannon's can handle it. It's good stuff. So you're seeing here, folks, how I do it. And I've taken about six minutes to do it, which is generally about twice as long than I would spend to do it if I were doing it just myself, you know, off cam. I spend, again, between two to four minutes, four being the max. Look at it. Can you see the sheen there? I'm not sure how much it shows up with the camera here. But believe me when I tell you, this is going to be a well hydrated lather. And yes, I'm going to lather my face, even though I've already shaved earlier today. It's, it's the uh, afternoon now when I'm shooting this. But I'm going to put this on the face just because I want to smell it, to be honest with you. So you see the sheen there on that lather? Don't know if you can see it. We can handle more water, actually. Let's go. Let's add a few more squirts. Shannon's can handle it. Some soaps that are really, really soft have a hard time handling a lot of water like I just put to this Shannon's. But Shannon's will handle it and look at the result. That is just beautiful goodness right there, folks. Excellent. All right. Let's set that aside. Let's put the camera up where we can see. And then we shall apply to the face. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back. And you know, I couldn't end this tutorial without putting that soap on my face. I've made a great lather. I got to get it on the face. And again, I'm really looking forward to this because I love the scent of Shannon's Orange Ginger Twist. We're going to mix this up because it's been sitting a little bit while I repositioned the camera. But man, oh man, I'm going to tell you what. You probably can't see that or maybe you can. I can't tell. It's fantastic. It's just an excellent lather. And you've seen the process, folks. It's just, I do it the same way all the time. I don't know if that's coming across, but have a look. Behold. Oh, man. I love the scent of this. This is just really great stuff. And I love to do this with the lather. You see that? See how it's just hanging there? There's excellent hydration in it. It paints really easily, smoothly. No wear and tear on the face. Excellent sheen, excellent hydration. That's what you want to shoot for. It's not essential, but I tell you, I just love making lather this way. And I have complete control over my lather by virtue of doing it in the bowl. This allows me to add water gradually and to achieve really nice, look at that. <laughs> that is awesome, I love this. It's just so much fun. 
to have an excellent lather. And I hope you'll try these uh, techniques. And again, it's not rocket science. If I can do it, you can do it. And you've seen it. I have probably four or five lathering tutorials within the last year, but people always want to know. And so I redo them from time to time just to show you nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. And this isn't a $7 an ounce soap. This is a very well-priced uh, soap. It's Shannon's mid-level base, but I can achieve the same lath lather with their basic formula, which is like, what, $13, $14 a tub. And it is just magnificent stuff. Look at that. <laughs> ah, I, I have fun when I do these sort of videos. It's just outstanding. There's nothing better than a well hydrated lather, in my opinion. I just really enjoy it and I enjoy helping other people. And so I know that a lot of people have watched my other tutorials and they have benefited from it. And some of, some folks say they do the same thing and don't get the same result. You know, I can't replicate your environment entirely, but I can only show you what I do completely. And you see the result. You see the result, look at that. <laughs> oh man, every time I lather Shannon's, it's always such a pleasure. All right, I could do this all day, but I'm not because I got other things <laughs> I got to do. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me, folks. It's been fun, and I hope you'll benefit from this. Just keep practicing. Just keep practicing. Remember, if I can do it, you can do it. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.